What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, King Beam, a.k.a. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the galaxy. And today, we are going to be talking about Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett. That is, um, this show is pretty mid, in my humble opinion. It's not, it's not the greatest show. Um, I just finished watching episode four. Now, granted, episode four was a banger. Ep episode four was definitely a banger, but... The show overall is not very good, so uh, you know, I'm just gonna talk about it for a few minutes. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, turn on the post notifications so you never miss a single video. I'm putting out we upload weekly, so you got a whole bunch of stuff to go and watch. All right, without further ado, let's get into this video. So, the book of Boba Fett, um, episode one was mid. <laughs> um, it was it was a pretty okay entrance into the series i didn't like how everything kind of felt so disjointed between the now what's happening now and what happened in the past she's just like randomly getting back in the back to tank and then boom flashback i felt like the way that that the whole flashback to nowadays pacing was done was kind of weird in episode one and then we got to episode two and episode two was like 90 percent of it was a flashback and i really enjoyed that episode we got like some tuscan raider lore some sand people lore going on and like how their whole little system works and we got the little like a panda <laughs> that was i thought that was pretty cool and then um and then then we get to episode three <laughs> yeah episode three exists we um we have cyberpunk characters in the show now. Um, that weird little uh, chase scene with the Power Rangers. The, there was, it was supposed to be a chase scene. It was not a high speed chase. It was um, quite the slow chase. In fact, I don't know what they did with that editing. Why did the chase scene look so slow? Like it's so dumb. And like the freaking Power Ranger people do not look like they should be in Tatooine. And why are they all British? That's odd, I don't know. Something about those group of people just doesn't fit in what's going on here for me. Um, more on episode three, actually. Um, Car, Cars, I don't know the dude's name. The, the, the like, the badass Wookiee dude. That's what I'm going to call him. How did a big, huge Wookiee come all the way in to Boba Fett's throne room palace thing, get all the way up to his secret chamber, and attack him? You're supposed to be the what? The daimyo of Mos Espa. You got guards and stuff. How you let a big ass Wookiee get all the way upstairs and then attack you? And then, I mean, I know he didn't have his armor. And I know it's a Wookiee. And I know he just got out of a back tank. But come on, dude. As Boba Fett, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing for you. Why are you getting thrown around like a little rag doll by a Wookiee. I mean, you, you could have done something. You, know, you could have got a couple hits in, but no, he's just getting flung across the room left and right. And he had to call in his Power Ranger friends to come and help him out. That episode was terrible. Um, and then uh, we got to episode four. The beginning of it was, uh, um, I mean, the whole episode was good. There's just one moment where it's just so silly. Why is Boba Fett the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. Why is he having trouble chasing down this little droid? It just looks silly. Like, come on, bro. You're supposed to be Boba Fett. Why Why are you chasing around a little mouse mouse droid thing in a kitchen and you can't catch it? Like, that makes zero sense. But um, I have high hopes of this series because at the end of episode four, um, we got the Mandalorian theme. Din Djarin's coming back in the next episode, hopefully. Um, I, I, we need some of him because, uh, yeah, this, this series, it's, it's not very good. Um, it's okay. It's mid, but, um, it's just like, I don't really understand how Boba Fett, like, his personality switched so fast. Like, when we last saw him, he was like, I mean, like, in, when we last saw him in episode six, he was like this cold-blooded, like killer like bounty hunter dude and then we get to the book of boba fett and he's just like this oh yeah i'm nice now i'm gonna help everybody out and stuff like he's not ruthless anymore i mean even in the mandalorian and he first showed up like he was that was a beggar he showed up and murked an entire platoon of 
stormtroopers by himself essentially and then we get to the book of boba fett and there's a dude in a speeder bike and boba fett doesn't even bother trying to do anything it's just like oh yeah you know go catch him i mean people disrespect him he doesn't do anything and he's getting beat up by wookies it's like i don't know i know that he spent a lot of time with the tusken raiders and stuff but like i feel like this whole sudden change in personality for him is like way too sudden i don't like i don't really like his personality at the moment and i don't think that this show has yet to properly show his badassery i mean we got a little bit of it in episode four but i mean it wasn't him doing anything like the the little biker gang that he was with they killed the tuscan raiders he was with and so then he was like he went out and killed them all with his shit but like i need to see some of that like mandalorian season two boba fett where he's just murking people like that's that's the boba fett i want to see i want to i want him to do some cool stuff and then i feel like the show hasn't done a really good job with the whole world building aspect of what's going on in the show because I mean, maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below. But me personally, I have no idea what's going on in the present day. Like, I don't know what the Daimyo does. I don't know, like, why? Why is this so important? What is what is this whole thing with the pike or the pikes and the mayor and the huts? And now he's, like, at a round table with a whole bunch of dudes. And they're eating dinner and making deals. And I what's going on i think we should have gotten a more i think we need like one episode to just fully establish what the heck is going on in the universe right now i mean episode one boba fett showed up and he's just walking around and like you know showing like hey i'm the, i'm the new dude i'm the i'm the i'm the big guy in town i'm the sheriff in town you feel me and then that like that's it we didn't really get a job description per se Maybe that's something I'm supposed to already know, and I'm a terrible Star Wars fan. Maybe it's me, but I don't really know what's going on. Um, yeah, that's, it's just, and then, oh, going back to Boba Fett not being cool enough, why in episode one, these dudes pull up on him, and he's just, like, getting beat up by him, like, he's, like, little assassin dudes, like, come on, it's literally Boba Fett, why did Boba Fett get nerfed? in the present day like the flashbacks we're getting of boba fett are so amazing but then we get back to present day boba fett and it's just like it's mid bro like i feel like they should have made a show about they could have made the entire show just about his past and how he got to where he is today or they should have just dedicated an entire like first two or three episodes about you know the tuscan raiders and him befriending them and getting trained by them and helping them with their problems and then them dying and him getting his ship and all that we could have had the entire flashback like history aspect in the first couple of episodes and then jumped into the present day and then shown what the daimyo does why it's so important to Mos Espa, why boba fett wants to do this so bad and then like show whatever the heck is going on with the pikes and stuff because i really do not know but um that those are just my thoughts um yeah um i'm excited for the future of the show because the mando is coming back but uh yeah i really do hope the show gets better um please let me know your comments about the show down below do you like it do you hate it i these power rangers man these power ranger people need to go because why why are they in the show and no i know some people like them you know that's cool if you like them i'm not saying you shouldn't like them i just don't understand why they're here like what's literally what is their purpose <laughs> they don't do anything they had a slow speed chase through tatooine and that's literally it but um yeah book of boba fett mando's coming back and hopefully we get some boss in the future. Maybe we can get some uh, badass Wookiee dude versus boss. I'm going to find out this dude's name. I think it's like Car Saxon or something like that. But I feel like that's a Star Wars Rebels character that 
I'm getting mixed up with. I'm, I'm literally going to search it up on my phone right now. Let's see. Wookie and Boba Fett. What's his, what's his name? Oh, Black Chrysanthemum. Oh, yes, Chrysanthemum. Yes. I'm so smart. Chrysanthemum. Okay. Badass Wookie dude. His name is Chrysanthemum. Okay. And he pulled the dude's arm off. That was cool. I was waiting for him to pull somebody's arm off when he got in the fight, and then he finally did it. Props to the makers of Boba Fett for letting him pull a guy's arm off. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new, come and join my crew, the Simpat Pirates, we're building the ranks, we're almost at like 190 subscribers, heck yeah, um, yeah, you know, if you enjoyed, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, have a great day, peace out.